work under the name Nervous System, and today you are at Nervous System. Nervous System is an experimental design studio that works at the intersection of design, computation, digital fabrication, and science. How we started Nervous System is a bit of a long and convoluted story. The company kind of came out of a random conversation that I had with somebody in school. I was in grad school at Harvard in the design school studying architecture and I had some models on my desk that were made out of laser cut paper that were actually just sort of crumpled up. Um, and somebody walked by my desk and said, hey, is that a bracelet? And it was just sort of like a, a filigree laser cut piece of paper that was a school project, which I got really bad reviews on actually, but I thought, hey, actually this might be a good bracelet. Um, and I started making jewelry using uh, the laser cutter in the basement at the GSD, sort of like totally illicitly, like I wasn't supposed to be using it. And then I put them on Etsy just to see if people would be interested in them. And people were. So then just figured, well, instead of being in grad school and uh, then interning for many years to eventually become an architect, I could actually just take the ideas I'm interested in, combining art, science, and technology, and make products that I actually could make and sell like today. When we first started, nobody knew what 3D printing was. In fact, you know, it wasn't even like to such a state that when we started, we didn't make 3D printed things. We made uh, laser cut and photochemically etched flat things. And then we started to work with 3D printing and we'd show our work and be like, this is printed and people would sort of give you these blank stares of like, I know what a printer is, but how does that relate to this object? It was like completely foreign and now everybody knows what 3D printing is and it's sort of become part of, I don't know, the zeitgeist of our time. In addition to working on our own projects at Nervous System, which are really uh, self-started from research ideas or inspirations in nature or math papers we read or new technologies we want to work with, we also work on collaborations with uh, larger companies and entities and art museums. Um, so this started for us a couple of years ago when we took a job working for Google's Advanced Technology and Projects Division. Uh, they had a really fun project that we got to work on, which led to uh, a whole like new area of our work and our business where we developed 3D printed clothing. Um, so they had this idea that they're gonna have a van driving across the country that was filled with fabrication equipment and then it was gonna go to different places and people would be able to walk up to the van and design something and have it made for them immediately. So we started working on this whole range of sort of in-person design and customization tools where people could walk up to a site, design something in like 15 minutes, and then have it printed or made for them. And somehow through that collaboration of working with them, we came up with this idea for a, a whole system of how you can make custom fit clothing that is uh, 3D printed without being cut, sewn, or assembled. So it comes out of the machine all in one piece uh, through some sort of clever mechanical hinges in the design and also some computation software that we developed that essentially compresses large things into small volumes by folding them up so they can be printed in a small form. We come to our studio every day and primarily work with computers on a wide variety of things, whether it's developing new algorithms or generating new designs, working on a website, you know, sort of also have the day-to-day -day of our business that runs, which is selling products. So we ship orders every day. Well, you don't actually do that. Margaret and Peter do that. <laughs> I think a lot of our work comes from the sort of obsession with natural patterns and how incredibly interesting and beautiful and confusing they are, um, just trying to understand how all of the different things we see around us in nature emerge from some sort of set of processes and conditions that form them is pretty mind-boggling and we're trying to sort of get at that in a lot of our design systems that we create to have uh, computational tools that people can use to have that same sort of power to produce form and order and also like beauty. I'm Jessica and this is Jesse and together we're Nervous System. You can check us out online at 
This is the tricky part. It's nervo.us or the word nervous with a dash in between every letter.com. Or just Google nervous system if this is too complicated. We're also nervous underscore system on Twitter and nervous dot system on Instagram.